but it will be moderating during the course of the week as well around Western Washington, uh, around Western Washington uh, there in the Midwest. Oh, my computer decided it was going to take a little break here. It's showing the uh, wet weather that's headed our way. We yesterday, by sharp contrast, at 61 degrees out at SeaTac. That's 9 degrees above the normal high. This is what I was hoping my computer would show you. These are the current temperatures right now. You can see there in the uh, north central portion of the country, teens right now. Keeping in mind the fact that it's uh, 11 o'clock in the morning. It's headed towards midday in those areas and they're still in the low to mid teens to start off with. And of course it's windy with this and when you add the wind in, it's actually warmer than we looked at it an hour ago. It's all the way up to zero in Chicago. One degree in Bismarck, three degrees in Minneapolis, St. Paul. Not incredibly cold temperatures for those parts of the country. It's mostly the time of the year. It's a little earlier than normal, but they've gotten a couple of fairly good uh, blasts of colder air already as we continue with that pattern with the big ridge of high pressure off the coast with us on the side, warm side, and then that cold air as it comes back down into the central portion of the United States. We're seeing just a little system moving over the top of our high pressure that is pushing a little front through here. You see the back edge of it right here. That is going to slide through Puget Sound between about 9 and 10 o'clock this morning, a little maybe an hour or so later down around Olympia. And that is going to be changing the steady light rain to just a few off and on showers. And so as we hit midday, it's going to be kind of hit or miss showers for the uh, does. I almost said Sonic, so wouldn't that be amazing? The Sounders Parade. Take a look at the waterfront. It's still looking kind of wet out there to start off the day. And you can see temperatures mostly in the mid to upper 40s to start off with. So we will look for that steady rain to turn off and on showers by mid-morning. And then around midday and actually this afternoon, just a couple hit or miss showers out there. Showers should wrap up all together a little later this afternoon. Some sun breaks mixed in. Temperatures into the mid-50s. Morning clouds and fog, then sunshine Wednesday and Thursday, but clouds will thicken up later on Thursday with rain moving in Thursday night. Off and on showers Friday, but those will diminish during the day with afternoon clearing. Saturday, we'll see a front stall out over uh, Vancouver Island, which is just going to give us clouds during the day on uh, Saturday, but rain then moves in Saturday night. Sunday, showers and sun breaks. A little pause early Monday, then increasing light rain later on Monday with temperatures staying in the mid-50s. At least right now, it looks like the middle part of next week should be mostly sunny, but cool with highs dropping back down to around 50 degrees.